I will show a quick example in this video of doing procedural decomposition on existing code. Remember that procedural decomposition is when we break a task into smaller tasks. Each smaller task will be its own procedure. So right now, this program draws a scene of a house. We compile and run it. we can see that this is what it draws. So what I want to do is take this task of drawing the scene of the house and road and break it into smaller tasks and make each of those smaller tasks a procedure. So I observe that the scene kind of has four pieces. There's drawing the roof of the house, there's drawing the body of the house, there's drawing the lawn, which is pretty plain, just three blank lines. And then there's drawing the road, which consists of two lines and two blank lines between them. So what I'm going to do is make a procedure for each of those four pieces. So first of all, I'm going to make one for drawing the root. So I declare it as usual, public static void. And I'm going to name it draw roof, and I'm going to capitalize the second letter because you should capitalize uh, the uh, second letter in identifiers that are made of multiple words. And now I'm going to come up here and cut all of the, actually, let's include this line here too. Come up here and cut all of the drawing of the roof. So I cut it there, I come down here, paste it, and use tab to make sure the indentation is correct. So now draw roof uh, does the part of drawing the roof. And in main here, where I used to draw the roof directly, instead I will invoke draw roof to tell draw roof uh, that I want it to do its job of drawing a roof. And so now if I compile and run this, first draw roof will be called and that will print out this. And then we'll come back here and do the rest of this resulting in the same scene. And voila, we still have the same scene. But we want to do more procedural decomposition because we're still doing an awful lot here in uh, the uh, main procedure. So what we're going to do next is uh, make these lines into draw building. So I'm going to go ahead and cut them. And I'm going to write in draw a building right here, because that's where we're going to invoke it, and that's what I'm going to name it. And then I'm going to make up another method down here called draw building. Paste in those lines. Uh, come up here and use tab to uh, fix the indentation. And also let's make sure that this is on its own line. So now I have I call draw roof to draw the roof. I call draw building to draw the main part of the building. And now I have two more pieces. Um, I wanted to make this the lawn task, and I wanted to make the thing below it the road task. So let's go ahead and do the lawn as well. So, let's dive boy, draw lawn. And I paste in the code here. the indentation there and that's going to draw the lawn and then I put the call uh, to make draw lawn occur after drawing the roof and after drawing the building and before uh, printing these other lines and then these last lines I want that to be draw road so let's, I'm going to go ahead and type in the call to draw road and then I'm going to make the draw road procedure down here in the lines that we're doing that work before. Make sure my indentation is good. And so now, go ahead and delete that blank line. I think that looks a little better. Um, now, my main calls draw roof, then draw building, then draw lawn, then draw road. 
So it doesn't actually do any of the work itself, any of the printing. It just calls these four different procedures so that each one of them will do their part in the right order. And so now, first it'll draw the roof uh, by printing out uh, these things. And then it will draw the building by printing out this stuff. And then it will draw the lawn by printing out this stuff. And then we say draw, uh, sorry, we say draw a road. And so it will draw the road by printing out this stuff. And that will result in the same house scene as we got before. So let's compile and uh, run that and look and see what we got. And voila, we get the same scene now. But now we've divided the task of drawing the house scene into these four pieces so that we could work on those four pieces individually. Uh, for example, uh, one value of this is that we could uh, assign one programmer to work on each of the four of these uh, to make them more interesting and then have them combine uh, then uh, just call their new definitions of their respective parts. So we have done procedural decomposition on draw house scene, which originally contained a bunch of print lines and did all the work itself. And now it calls four procedures, each of which does part of the work.